you hoes sitting around just talking shit. I be riding in the whip straight plotting shit. I catch you hoes when you... Okay, you guys, so this is going to be a first look at my um, D Hair Lounge. I think it's European straight. I think that's what it is. I'm not quite sure. I've had this hair for a minute, um, so I don't remember exactly what they sent to me, and I don't really think they remember what they sent to me either because it was so long ago. Um, I received this hair at the same time that I got my uh, Brazilian curly hair, so I wanted to go ahead and wear the both of them, give them, you know, two weeks for each, switch back into the other one, um, give you guys a little bit uh, more versatility to see me work with something different. Um, obviously, these are two completely different styles, so, yeah. Um, this is, like I said, the European straight, I think. Um, this is a 18, I think, I don't know if they supposed to all be 18s. I got three bundles, but when I measure them, it's like one's a 18, one's a 17, one's a 16. So that's how they kind of measure. So whatever, this is the 18 or what have you. Um, and as you can see, it has like a natural wave pattern to the hair. It is very, very silky, silky hair. This is very, very silky hair. I mean, you have to have like a fresh relaxer, I think, to make this really work for you. Um, I haven't relaxed my hair, but I did put a relaxer on my edges, so hopefully it would be good. Because the rest of my hair kind of slide out pretty well, so hopefully, yeah. Um, so far, what you see on the weft here is 30 second um, weft sealer. I just posted a picture of this on Instagram because um, I used this last night. Um, and it was very, very easy to apply. Um, it can get really messy because it does have a brush on it. Um, so watch out for that. But it dries very, very quickly. Um, it doesn't make the, the wefts super hard that you can't bend them for those of you who do the fold over method. Um, so yeah, this is something new that I'm trying. Um, what I'm going to do now, of course, is go ahead and bleach the bundles. This hair is like super, super soft. I hope that I can get it to stay soft. Um, you know that bleaching is a very, very high risk of damage in the hair. So hopefully we don't have those problems. Hopefully everything comes out good. We good. We good. Um, so what I want to do is clip the hair and do my normal way of pretty much bleaching all my hair. You guys see me bleach my hair all the time. I bleach plenty and plenty bundles of hair. Do it all the same exact way. I use the BW um I use the BW powder bleach and I use uh the 40 developer. I use whatever brands I can find. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care about brands like that. Um this the BW gives you more uh, like of those copper tones. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like the brassy look, but those are the tones that I normally go for because I wear like, you know, that coppery, yeah, bronze look. So yeah, this is normally what I use when I bleach my hair. I mix it up, just a nice little consistency, and I apply it from the ends going up. Um, I'm going to, I don't know how far I'm going to go. I'm going to go kind of far because right now my roots aren't too, too dark yet. So we're going to see. But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and apply the bleach to the bundle. After I bleach the hair, I'm going to use VO5 Clarifying Shampoo to get all the bleach out. I'm going to then um, either use Herbal Essences Tele Hydration Conditioner to deep condition, or I may mix some mixed chicks and Hella Hydration. I don't really know. I kind of just mix whatever the hell I feel. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, a lot of y'all ask me, like, product wise, I'm like, I just use whatever. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be that. Okay, you guys, so what you see here is this V, which is where my leave out's going to be for my V part. I'm doing exactly the same as I would for a U part wig, obviously. Um, this is the hair. I was corrected recently that it is supposed to be Brazilian straight, but how silky this is, I've never felt Brazilian hair feel this silky in my life, so... I don't know what kind of Brazilian hair they got going on, but it's just some silky, silky hair. Um, after I bleached the hair, I shampooed it, and then I conditioned it using um, Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. Um, so the hair is very, very silky still, um, but it did, t it did coarsen up a little bit after me bleaching it, but nothing severe, nothing for So this is my first bundle. I'm going to go ahead and do my other two bundles, and I'll come back when I get to this top V area. So this here. is all the hair now. It's like super freaking soft, like, it's so soft, I wish I could feel it. Um, this is the V in the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and get ready to 
sew it down on my head. Um, I may just wear it in its regular length for like a week and then I may cut it into a bob because I just I just hate cutting hair and I'm like I don't know if I can cut it into a bob you guys I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> Alright, so you Shit I do, I think your homegirl cute shit, bring it to And if you mad cause I'm thinking then fuck you Arrogant, attitude so mean I better get my way or I kick and scream And if it's that game good, I kick and scream Call for all good, baby, I'm full of steam I'm the chick you got to be, cause it's my time And ain't shit for free, you better step aside And take a fucking seat, cause everything I spit You know is fucking heat Girl, you better think again, your life's turn on And bitch, I'm here to win, so look, this good should be Your fucking sin, you hold that five, but I'm a fucking ten I'm the chick you got to be, cause it's my time my um, first look and initial review of D Hair Lounge Brazilian Straight. Um, what I got when I measured it, um, it was like, I'm guessing 218 and 16 is pretty much what the inches were. Um, 
I received this hair like a while ago to review, um, but I was in the middle of, you know, other reviews and things like that. So I didn't get to put it in. So now I have it in. And um, I put it on a V-part wig, which is the same concept as a U-part wig, just in a V-shape, um, which I find it is a little annoying. I'd rather just stick to my U-part. I'd rather just stick to my U-part because I don't know. I mean, it's straight, but... I don't know, back here it's harder to like cover up everything because there's less hair to cover up because I don't have the U. But whatever. Either way, same concept. Um, as you guys see, this is my own leave out. Um, with this being Brazilian hair, I would have thought that it would be, you know, a little more coarse. It's like the silkiest Brazilian hair I've ever. So, yeah, for. Brazilian hair is actually very, very, very silky hair. Um, I've never had Brazilian hair be this silky. Once I bleached it, it did um, coarsen up the hair a lot more, but at the same time, it's very, very silky. Like, my leave out is definitely struggling. I haven't had a relaxer in maybe like two months. So, um, I'm, I'm doing the best I can to make sure that I. And blending properly that's why I did the V part because you kind of have like less hair out with the V part because the V is only you know about this much here so you have less leave out that way that's why I did the V part instead of a U um, when it comes to products that I'm using on the hair I've had the hair in for about two days now um, what I put on the hair is my normal products which is just my um, grind for teeth Moroccan oil that's what I put on the hair um, before styling as well as the Grain Fructis Flat Iron Spray or I use my Chi Iron Guard, whichever one I have. Um, I put these little curls in the front, a little bump. Um, they've been in this way all day. They were a little bit tighter, but of course they drop. Straight hair for me, I love it to be straight, but it really does not hold a curl that well. Like, no straight hair that I've tried. <laughs> um, but it, for the most part, it's holding a curl pretty well. Um, I may later on try some real, real tight curl and wine curls on the hair, but um, as you can see, this hair is like super, super flowy, like super, super flowy, no issues, no nothing, like, it's like white girl hair, like it's so flowy, I can't even explain to y'all, like, it just blow in the wind, like it's so pretty. Um, the only issues that I think I have with hair is the wefts have a lot of trouble areas on it, nevertheless, even though there's trouble areas on the wefts, um, the hair doesn't shed, like literally, like the hair like really does not shed. When I first got the hair, it didn't shed not once. And I used like a small tooth comb to comb through it and it was like no shedding. Um, when I bleached and washed the hair out, I got a little more shedding then. Um, but other than that, I really, I don't get any shedding. Like on a daily basis, like I don't, I don't get any shedding. Like I never, I don't get any shedding out of this hair. Like, and that's crazy. Um, as well as for the very ends of the hair, if you guys can see like how it's all, it's bent under here. I didn't do that. Like the hair comes like with like perfect ends that have been cut and manicured and the hair comes very, very, very manicured. Um, it's super, super silky. And like I said, the ends just have this natural bend to it here, as you see, which I think is really, really pretty. I don't really have to do anything to the hair other than bump. Front. But anyway, so far so good with the hair. Um, like I said, I'm very, very, very impressed by the lack of shedding, um, as well as the hair doesn't tangle either. Um, the hair took color like great, great, great. Um, the hair is super, super soft. Normally from bleach, it does damage the hair in a sense. Um, you have to do your best to repair it, but with this, all I did was just shampoo it with VO5 clarifying shampoo, and then I conditioned it with um, Hello Hydration. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the hair looks like looks great looks great I'll show you guys the back so yeah um that's going to be my initial review so far for the hair. Um, with everything that I did, I did show you guys how I colored the hair, how the hair looked when I first got it, um, and me making the wig somewhat. Uh, it's just the same concept as every other U-part, three-fourth type of wig that you would make. 
Twitter left and right. I do fold my webs as well as um, I just recently tried this 30 second web filler. That's what I put on the hair. Um, I found that the black, they have a black and a clear. The black one isn't as messy as the clear one. The clear one is like just like their lace wig glue. If you've ever used their lace wig glue, how messy it is, like how stringy it is. The white one, um, the white web filler is just as messy. So I would recommend if you're going to use it to use the the black one. Um, it dries pretty quickly and I haven't had any issues so far. So yeah, I didn't, I don't think I, no, I didn't steal all my bundles. I think I still just my back bundles. I didn't steal the other two bundles. So yeah, nevertheless, no shedding. Everything's good. Um, anything that you guys want to know, ask me. I will try to have everything in the description bar as, as much as I can get it in there. Um, I really hate the description bar because I take more time filling out that damn description bar than I do recording and editing my damn videos. It's crazy. So yeah, check my info bar, you guys, so you guys ask a question that I've already answered. Um, I'm trying to think of what else you guys may ask me. What's on my list? Um, Mac Ruby Woo, which this was like my first Mac lipstick, you guys. I just bought it today, and I'm like in love with that. That's amazing. But anywho, yeah. Um, I'm out of here.